these here are the Bearman brothers. Petra and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I'm sure. I want to talk to you. Can you tell me something about yourself, Jan? Why not? I haven't been to confession for a while. <laughs> How did you end up in Kuno's band? Ah, it's nothing new for me and my brother. We've been fighting for coins since we were old enough to carry swords. Last time we rode with one Lombardian by the name of Collini. All over Bavaria, Austria and that. What happened? Did you fall out? Nah, we just wanted to come back to Bohemia. You know how it is. When no one understands a word you say, it ain't worth a damn. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Nah, to tell the truth, I'd never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> and the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. We might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby, and Petter hardly walking. Playing in the dirt together, we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took us away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. That's the way it's been ever since. Over and over. So you two never had... Well, um... A normal life. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has been. Henry, I want to have a so, word with you. Tell me, study. Got your eye on some nice winch? <sighs> True. There ain't many redheads in these parts. Henry, Henry. I'd like a word with you. Sisters in Colleen. <laughs> what were they called again? <laughs> yeah. And cut. <laughs> one blind, one deaf, and the other dumb. And we could only get the blind one to go for you. Hey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lass. Probably taught you for an idiot. And you're Come the here, only I'll one of us who can you. read and write proper. <laughs> you can't blame us for trying to spice up your life a bit. Henry, Did you give her here. a kiss at least? <clears throat> all right, all right. Just asking. Have you heard this one? This what? This joke, you blockhead. I'm asking if you heard this joke. What joke? You haven't told me it yet. It's just a turn of phrase for fuck's sake. If you're gonna tell a joke, you say... Have you heard this one? Which one? How am I supposed to know which joke you mean? Because when you're talking to a normal person, you'll let you get on with telling the joke. I'm not stopping you. Get on with it, for fuck's sake. Jesus. All right, so there was this priest who was always complaining about his teeth to everyone he met. One day, he was sitting in the alehouse, and this innkeeper asked him why he was so glum about it. The priest says, my teeth are hanging loose. I'm afraid they'll all fall out. The innkeeper thinks about it and says, Father, my balls have been hanging loose for more than 30 years, and they haven't fallen out yet. <laughs> what a fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this, Jan? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills, rising, pertly, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below, spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall, 
and erect. Aye. It reminds me of that day. That day. When the two of us fucked Fletch's ma. <laughs> Very droll. You'd make a stuffed part laugh. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed her myself. <laughs> I can't smell any chamomile. Well, men, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh? How's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the taverns who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey? Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girl sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours then? All right, I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry, there will be plunder. We're here to fight, and to the victor the spoils. And so it's always been that no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Chief, I think there's something going on over there. Let's go! Behind me, and keep your eyes peeled! What do you think we can expect this time, fellas? Russian. Hidden in a piss pot under the bed. A nice chunk of beef. No one there will be eating. On account yeah. of it, it just fall out through the holes in their bellies, eh, hey, brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mouth is already watering, brother. And yeah. I ain't even touched a purse yet. Once you've got your hands on some loot, I'll be happy to play you for your yeah. hard then, Grosh. <laughs> Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from yeah. close up. What do you expect to find? Yeah. Futility and human suffering, like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leaf out of Stone's book and shut the fuck up? Jesus, I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. Please, can we stop for a bit? My arse is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Please. 
say so. Help me. Don't worry, lass. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in a manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... They... We've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah... I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> <laughs> right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go! Who wants their back covered? My right arm is stiff since last night. Cover that side for me. It's all in the wrist, Dangler. <laughs> and best to take off your gauntlet first, so as not to do yourself an injury. Still, it's always good to have your helmet well polished before battle. <laughs> Thanks for the invaluable advice, brothers. I'll watch your right side then, yeah? Thanks, Jakey. Hey, fellas. Well, since it's so dark, why don't we just sneak in and take them down stealthily? <laughs> What's so fucking funny? That's not really our style, Sonny. Anyway, Jan stinks to high heaven. They'd smell him a mile off. And they'd hear your loudmouth blabbering a mile off, too. Fuck. <gasps> Wash up, brother. Heart in your mouth. Jesus, what the... <gasps> Fuck! It's a sign from God, better. A foretaste of what we'll do with the liquid loot we take from the foe. Shit. <gasps> I wanted to charge them with a terrifying roar. Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. <laughs> or that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. Just to be there, a pot of kivina. Nesvenis, 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 